Hello developers, in today's video we are exploring three online web development courses by three extremely talented Udemy instructors. Number one, Colt Steele. Number two, Andre Negoy. Number three, Angela Yu. All three of these instructors and all three of these courses are really popular. They're really good. And if you are early on in your coding journey, you might be wondering, okay, what's the difference between all three of these? Did I make a mistake enrolling in one and not the other? Well, we're gonna explore some of the details about these courses along with which one might be better suited for certain people. Let me just say, if you haven't heard of Udemy, it's a massive, I mean, they have hundreds of thousands of courses. They're video based. In my experience, because I am also a self-taught developer, I used Udemy along with other resources. There's a lot of not so good courses on Udemy. Fortunately, as I mentioned earlier, all three of these courses, very high quality and all three of the in these instructors, amazing. So let's dive right into it, starting off with Colt Steele. Now, as you can see here, this is the course I first purchased back in the day, it seems like, April 19th, 2017. It seems like so long ago. There was quite a long period of time where I could not recommend this course because it was, in web development years, extremely outdated. And honestly, there were just better products out there, such as these two courses that I recommended to developers. Well, fortunately, last year, they completely rehauled this course, 63.5 hours of on-demand video. Of the three web development bootcamp courses, this is by far the longest one. So Colt Steele's is 63.5, Andre Negoy's is 36.5, and then Angela's is 54.5. Now, mind you, this is the video runtime. This is not something you can just crank out in a weekend or even a week. This took me many months to complete. This is just the videos. You're going to be pausing a lot, doing projects, all this stuff. Just to give you the heads up, if you haven't taken a course like this before, it's going to take a while. There are also some little extras here, 42 articles, downloadable resources, coding exercises. I never really got much into these myself, uh, but it is a good added value, I suppose, for a lot of developers needing some interactivity or just need a break from the videos. But I was all about the videos myself. So 63.5 hours. And then starting off, what I really liked about this when I saw the updates last year when they said, okay, we completely overhauled this course, was that there's a change log. So you can see when exactly they updated what and how current it really is. As far as the actual content goes, this is, I would say, everything you need to get started with the basics. Now, I know it's like, there's so much stuff here, but a great layout and a great explanation of these basics starting i'm not going to get too rushed here let's go back up here starting off of course with html a great introduction to the web and building web pages css he also touches upon flex box which is a nice touch and then an optional project javascript big sections on javascript here javascript basics almost an hour strings and more nearly an hour decision making in javascript hour and 30 arrays so all of these sections are pretty hefty deservedly so because javascript is extremely important when building web apps and websites and then going down further more javascript stuff and then after hours of surviving javascript you get into node and some back end programming with express also doing stuff with mongodb mongo and mongoose the capstone project in this course is called yelp camp i did a video called is yelp camp the greatest project of all time because it is so great in my opinion again this is my opinion at showing you a basic CRUD app, create, read, update, delete, the basics of a full stack application. It's a very fun project. And as you can see here, a lot of time is dedicated to that project. If we go inside the course, I don't wanna get dinged for a copyright strike here, but the production is very good. Even in 2017, when I took this course, this was light years ahead of other Udemy courses with the exception of a few, which I have right here. But the production values, the instructor, there is a reason this guy is considered number one in so many people's books. He knows what he's talking about. Uh, very personable. If you're going to spend 
months with somebody, months with someone's voice, you want it to be kind of nice, right? You know, the production values and the way he delivers his content is very professional, yet very relatable because it's not just a guy reading off a teleprompter in his mom's basement with the broken lapel mic. In my opinion, the two strongest things about this course, number one is the project, which is Yelp Camp, just absolutely phenomenal project. And number two, the collection and I guess maybe the word curation of the content, the way it's organized and what they decided to include in this final product. This course is nearly perfect. However, it's not the only one on the block. We also have Andre Nagoy, the complete web developer in 2021, zero to mastery. This course and this instructor did not come on my radar until maybe like two years ago, but he's been here, he's been here for a while now and he has his own platform. We're gonna talk about that because that is something that has been benefiting a lot of people. I know a lot of newbie web developers. If you're not sure if you wanna do web development, he also offers many other career paths and exclusive content, but let's talk about this course first. The Complete Web Developer in 2021, as far as consistent updates, my money with all these instructors, I'm going with Andre. If you check his courses, every one of them is updated for the current year. Now, as far as the content, this is a little shorter. Well, let's be honest, it's a lot shorter than 63.5 hours. I might say almost mercifully, 30, 36.5 hours of on-demand video, 143 articles, downloadable resources, and a coding exercise. The layout is quite similar to the Cold Steel course with an introduction to HTML, going into CSS. He talks about the grid, which is not talked about in the Cold Steel course. The Andre course does have more of a focus, uh, 41 minutes of fo focus on the career of a web developer. You know, what you can expect, what employers demand of you, what if you don't have enough experience? A 15 minute lecture on that, which is in my opinion, a question so many of us are asking as self-taught developers. So that is a great addition and something that makes this course stand out. Then we go into JavaScript, which compared to Cold Steel is a lot more condensed. Uh, but it's not like you are skipping over it. There are still multiple hours dedicated to JavaScript. And the way this one is organized is two hours and 42 minutes of your basic JavaScript, then an hour and 26 minutes of DOM manipulation. And then for advanced JavaScript, you're getting four hours. Scope, ES5 versus ES6. That's also a good one. So some really up-to-date stuff with ES6 and beyond. Andre's course discusses React, React Hooks, and Redux, three hours. Now, by no means is this going to make you a complete React developer, job ready to crank out any React project, but it is a really good introduction. And nowadays, if you're going into the workforce, employers want you to know React or a JavaScript framework like Angular. The final project on here is SmartBrain and you integrate machine learning into that really cool project. Now, earlier on, I had mentioned that Andre has his own platform at zero to mastery.io. I have done a few videos on this platform and courses inside this platform, but it is such a playground for people who love to learn. Not only is the complete web developer over here, he also has the complete Python developer, JavaScript advanced concepts, complete junior to senior web developer roadmap, which is an excellent course to take after you take one of these boot camps. I could go on and on here, but if you wanna see that full review, spoiler alert, I really like this platform. Check out the video popping up on your screen right now. And zero to mastery.io, depending on how you play your cards, can be an extremely good value. Going on to number three, Angela Yu, the one and only, the lovely and talented. I interviewed Dr. Yu last year. Listen, developers, I have so many instructor exclusives. It's an extremely insightful interview and you're not gonna find any other channel interviewing Dr. Yu because she doesn't do interviews. 54.5 hours, 80 articles, 21 downloadable resources, eight coding exercises. Now, if I had to just give you a snapshot of this course, I would say it is a variation of the Colt Steel course. There are some serious differences though. Number one, she still includes jQuery. Now, some people will say, oh, jQuery's dead, jQuery's outdated. Listen, 
if you think jQuery is dead and jQuery is outdated, don't watch the videos. But a lot of employers still use jQuery. This, a lot of people consider it legacy tech. Okay, wherever you stand, in my opinion, jQuery is still important. In the real world, in the real world, and many are transitioning from jQuery and upgrading their code base from jQuery to something else. So if you are a junior developer assigned to that type of project, you want to know jQuery. And this is a good place to pick up the basics at 53 minutes, but I'm getting a little ahead of myself. She starts you off, of course, with HTML and then CSS going into Bootstrap and then some JavaScript action. Two hours, 28 minutes of ES6. Intermediate JavaScript, an hour and 30 minutes. Intro to the DOM, 56 minutes. And you're going to be doing some projects here. Boss Level Challenge 3, a blog website. And as we scroll down, we come to the big differentiator, React.js, 8 hours, 54 minutes. Now, to be clear, Andre Negoy does do a React section, but it's 3 hours. If you want to get a little deeper into React.js, start building some basic projects, the Angela course is going to be the way to go. The other thing I'll say about Angela Yu's courses is that she really uses animations to spice things up. She's really funny too. It's that dry British sense of humor just cracks me up. That goes the same for other courses too. She has a boot camp for Python if web development isn't your thing. Um, this is a great course as well. I don't want to get too off track here because this is about web development. I'm just saying you can't go wrong with the Dr. Yu course. She's absolutely phenomenal. That said, Andre Nagoy and Colt Steele are also great great instructors. You can't go wrong with any of these courses if you just want to learn the basics. But as we saw in this video, there are some nuances. So depending on what your career goals are, if you have career goals, maybe you're just trying to check it out. The shortest course by far is Andre Negoy's 36.5. The longest, Cold Steel, 63.5. Angela Yu just chilling at 54.5. Just know that going into any of these courses, whichever one you decide on, it's gonna take a while and that's okay. It takes people a while to get through these. So I hope this video gave you some clarity. In my opinion, there isn't a clear winner of these three. They're all titans, they're all amazing. They're all heavyweight champs. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Which course are you taking and, and do you like it? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video.